Now that we've determined the total cost, let's go to analyzing the net benefit. So I'm going to make a simple assumption here in our analysis. I guess I have to hit that. Um, that the total benefit to each apartment is going to be the same. Okay, so I'm going to, we, we said this in the last one, right? So the total benefit is, is $2,000 uh, for each apartment. Right, or I mentioned in the last video that the total benefit isn't going to differ between each apartment. So, you know, that's maybe a, probably a strong assumption, right? As you go to different apartments, part of what you're looking for is which one do I like better? So they all have different features and you place value on each of those features. And just to make life easy, I'm gonna assume that the total benefit is the same. So if the total benefit is the same as we'll see, that means that my choice is really just the one with the lowest total cost. That's gonna maximize my net benefit. But right now, the total benefit is gonna be $2,000 for each apartment, okay? So which one is the best choice if I optimize using total value is the one that maximizes the net benefit, which is total benefit minus total cost. And I have to see which one is highest. Now, as you'll see, if this is the same for every alternative, the one with the lowest total cost will make my net benefit the highest. But let's, let's see that precisely, right? So I've already calculated the total cost. So I'm gonna make a, a table for very close, close, far, and very far that calculates my net benefit of each option. So the total benefit is $2,000 for each one. And I need to calculate then the difference with my total cost, 1,230, 1,190, 1,180, and 1,200 are my assorted costs. Then I subtract those out. I've got $770 in net benefit from living in an apartment very close. $810 of net benefit from apartment close. $820 from apartment far. And $800 from apartment very far. So if I use this net benefit, my choice is apartment far is the best. Best choice, the optimal choice is apartment far. It gives me the highest net benefit. In this case, because the benefit was the same across all of them, that was also the one that minimized my total cost. Now that, that won't always be true. So you have to be careful, right? If I don't specify what the benefit is and I just give you the cost, you can assume that I'm looking for the lowest cost. If I do give you both the benefits and costs, then you have to be a bit more careful to calculate the net benefit for every one. And we'll, we'll see some examples of that as we go through the class. Okay, so just to kind of practice this, I would like you to go through this question here. Um, so I want you to go ahead and pause the video, okay, and give this one a try. So what I did was I changed the opportunity cost of your time. So in this case, you make $15 an hour at work. And let's see how that affects your decision making. What is the optimal part now? Now, this is actually really important. Uh, if we were in class in person, I would force you, I would stop talking, and I would, I would have you write this down and try to answer it yourself. Now, this is really important that you don't just passively watch me solve all the problems, right? So, I mean, you'll have to do them on the homework, but the way you're going to learn before you try it on the homework is to take this question and try it yourself. At this point, what would I do, right? And so you learn the most when you fail at doing something. So if you try this, and you don't get the same answer as I did, that's when you're gonna learn the most. The only way that that happens, that you're going to improve, is you have to try it on your own first. So pause the video, fill out this table, and decide where would I live in this case when my opportunity cost is $15 per hour. After you've done that, 
Now you can watch how do I solve the problem and, and we can compare. So what I have to do is simply to recalculate the opportunity cost of each apartment. So very close, right? So now my opportunity cost is $15 an hour and I have five hours commuting or $75 in opportunity cost. So 75. Uh, so that's one thousand two hundred and fifty-five dollars. One thousand one eighty plus seventy-five gives me one thousand two hundred and fifty-five dollars in total cost. Apartment close, All right? So I have fifteen dollars an hour times ten hours is one hundred and fifty dollars in opportunity cost. So I, I add that 1,150 to my 1,190 and I have 1,240. plus 150, can't quite see the 50 there, is how I get 1,240. Apartment FAR is $15 per hour times 20 hours, uh, sorry, 15 hours commuting. Which is going to be $225 in opportunity cost. So 225. I'm going to add the 225 to my 1,030. And I've got, uh, again, 1,255. 1,030 plus my 225. 1,200, the 50 and the 20, the 30 and the 25 gives me my 1,255. Now I move to apartment very far. Opportunity cost 15, 20 hours commuting is $300 in total cost. And so, or an opportunity cost, I should say. And so 1,000 plus 300 is my opportunity cost in that case. My, my total cost, 1,300. So which apartment should I choose in this case? The one that's going to maximize my net benefit, if the total benefit is the same, is the lowest cost option, which is now close. Right, and so a good thing to do when you do a problem is to stop and think about it. Does my answer make sense given what's happened? So let's say that for some odd reason you, you messed up a calculation and you said, I'm going to choose apartment very far. And you would think about it and say, okay, so what happened? My time became more valuable and I decided to move further away from campus. Well, if the total benefit didn't change, that doesn't make sense, right? If my time becomes more valuable, I want to move closer to campus to reduce my commuting time, right? If the total benefit stayed the same at 2000. So a good way to understand economics and to use that to your advantage is to make sure that intuitively your answers are, are checking out, right? Does the logic of where I moved relative to a lower opportunity cost of time add up? In this case, it does, right? I want to move closer to campus. So that is optimization using total value or net benefit.